So, in 1950s America, um, admission of admission um, was a very brave thing to do. And it was hugely liberating uh, for Plath, who had a very complex inner life. And one of the poems that she wrote, uh, which I think very much shows this influence, um, is her poem, Miss Drake Proceeds to Supper. No novice in those elaborate rituals which allay malice of knotted table and crooked chair, the new woman in the ward wears purple, steps carefully among her secret combinations of eggshells and breakable hummingbirds, footing sallow as a mouse between the cabbage roses, which are slowly opening their furred petals to devour and drag her town into the carpet's design. With bird quick eye cocked askew, she can see in the nick of time how perilous needles grain the floorboards and outwit their brambled plan. Now through her ambushed air, a dazzle with bright shards of broken glass, she edges with wary breath, fending off jag and tooth, until, turning sideways, she lifts one webbed foot after the other into the still, sultry weather of the patient's dining room. Now, one of the most striking techniques that Plath uses in this poem is enjambement. Um, this is where the, the lines run on, um, and there's really, if you're reading it out, there's hardly any room to draw breath. The poem's basically made up of two sentences, and these are stretched across the two stanzas, um, two stanzas of 13 lines, so it's 26 um, lines, but um, only with a single break. Now, this effect, of course, is to suggest a kind of frenzied breathlessness. Um, and Miss Drake is staggering on without rest. Um, it, this breathlessness suggests her anguish and her own feelings of disorientation and lack of control. The tension rises as her sense of terror builds. Now, Miss Drake walking between the cabbage roses seems like quite a soothing image. Um, gardens are places of beauty, even of safety. But the next line introduces something peculiar. Um, the petals are furred like an animal, hence their capacity to devour and drag her down. And the hallucinatory experience is then explained in the next line, into the carpet's design. Carpets are often woven with floral motif. But for Miss Drake, this carpet has come alive. The alliteration of the D sound, devour, drag, down, conveys a sense of assault or um, the possibility of violence. Miss Drake, we um, later learn, is the new woman in the ward on her way to the patient's dining room. Miss Drake is an inpatient with a terrifying fear of the patterned carpet that she has to traverse to get to the patient's dining room. Now, Plath uses a number of techniques here to postpone our understanding so that we feel as Miss Drake feels before we understand. We're not told that Miss Drake is ill, rather we live through an experience that Miss Drake has had. We perceive as she, she does, and the emotional correlatives are clear, terror, disorientation, helplessness. The influence here is very obviously Lowell and Sexton, not Hughes. 